sightings of ghosts, an abandoned insane asylum, creepy ass dolls, werewolves, and witches, honey. Do not obey. Stay woke. Nobody's gonna stop me. This is real. Do not obey. Stay woke. Scary as hell. What's up, guys? It's me, Do Not Obey, and I want to kind of like bring you guys into like a short, like story. Um, I like to listen to like Let's Read, uh, Reddit, you know, Let's Not Meet, What's Your Creepiest Experiences, uh, Truck Drivers Long Distance, Seeing Things in the Woods, Creepy Encounters, um, People Seeing Ghosts, I mean, just eerie things that people can't explain. I love, I love, I love listening to things like that. And what I found that some of the things that I listen to, the people have been in this area of the Appalachians, like the Asheville area. Well, one story I was listening to at work because I love to do it, at, you know, listen to these stories at work because it gets me in my zone. It's a good pastime and it's just mentally relaxed. And I told you guys, I can go to sleep on horror stories. <laughs> I'm just that kid. All right. So this story was about the French Broad River, and it, they were talking about an area down in um, Asheville near the end where there's a bridge and the French Broad River flows through. Now what is particular about this area that I don't believe that they knew in the story is that a lot of people go, not even go missing, a lot of people have been found DOA. in that river. That's why a lot of people say don't swim in the French Park River, don't fish. It's, it's a lot of just negative stuff in that river, okay? It's it's weird, okay? And, and a lot of people have been floating in that river for years. And I'm 40 and I've known over, I've heard over 10 people and out of two people, um, God rest their souls, they got hurt down there and did not make it. Okay, two girls. So, they were talking about how they were camping. And yeah, it's a cool little ducked off camping spot. It's free, it's cheap, and there's a lot of crackheads that be down there too. I'm just saying, a lot of, you know, bad, dangerous people. I mean, people are everywhere, but that's the area to go to get good or to dump a, be a body, allegedly. I'm just saying, okay? So they were talking about how they set up their camp, got the fire started, and how they were literally right by the river. I know exactly where they are. Like you pull up, there's a parking area right here. Then I think it's like gravel or some grass. It's been years, but it hasn't changed. And then it's like a bridge is over it. There's some poles in the water in certain areas. And then the stream's literally right there. Like it's right there. Um, people do go fishing down there. I don't know if they're from here or not, but I wouldn't, but whatever. They said as the night was going on, in the story that they were all in their tents or whatever and I think somebody had to go out to use the bathroom or they were out or whatever but whatever they see this figure standing in the middle of the French Broad River like a person okay now they said the figure was just stand, standing there looking at them, like a shadowy mast of a human figure um, I'm not sure if they said it was a woman or female. They, I don't believe they did say it. it was just something standing in the middle of the water. Um, it said that they freaked them out so bad that they packed their stuff up. And as they were packing their stuff up, the thing was still just standing there watching them as they were packing their stuff up. Put it in the car, pull it off, and it's still standing there. Well, what they didn't know is that there's, like I said, a lot of deaths that's happened down at that river. There's a lot of people that have floated down to that particular part because it's like a low part. There's really no, depending on how the water rises, like right there, like it's a lot, it's rocky. So things can get caught up and hung and, you know, like that floats down the French Broad. Keep in mind, this French Broad River goes all the way into the town of uh, Bavard and through, like it's, it's a long toxic waste of water to me. 
and it just keeps going until it connects to something else. So they didn't realize that they were staying in like a haunted part of Asheville, which most of the mountains is haunted, but right there to me, we people have heard of, of seeing things down there. Um, when I drive through there, I try to avoid it if I can. When I used to go out downtown, it's just a shortcut. It's eerie. You always feel like somebody's watching you. People have, like I said, seen things down there. Um, and people just know not to hang down there when it's dark. Like literally over the years, there's rarely anybody down there at night at all, period, at all. Um, like I said, during the day, people may fish, but it's kind of known in this area not to stay in that area right there. So I'm not surprised that they did see a figure in the water and it wasn't a human um, at all. It was a spirit and I thought it was just cool that they were talking about a place that I grew up around that I know about and that I know what has happened there and you know, the stories that a lot of people have told and have said. So kind of just validates like the area along with all the other areas in Asheville that's haunted and around these mountains, honey, the satanic mountains of North Carolina. So yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this short little story about the French Broad River here in the area of Asheville, North Carolina is very haunted and certain areas are very haunted because there were a lot of people that were not alive all in that water. Okay, see you guys next time. Peace.